Hi, my name is Ricky Nelson and this is The Vent. Yeah, we're doing things a bit different from now. Um, I decided that I was going to set this up in a way that worked for me, in the way that would communicate what it is that I wanted to do with this little bit of your time. So yes, you can notice that there are a few developments, a few developments. Yeah, and I'm pretty excited. One thing I really wanted to do, I've always wanted to do this thing that I see a lot of comics do on stage, like, you know, getting wires from around their legs, around their mic stand. And I said, I'm not going to wait for my opportunity. I'm going to get my own wire and I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the vent. Yeah, the vent. So, um, a little disclaimer. Uh, these are just jokes and at times some of my jokes and stories will be based on some truth but in the end they are just jokes I do not want guys losing their shit over stuff I say I do not have the time to fight with you people online I cannot do that as in no I will just ignore you or do like what everybody else does and just switch off my comments Anyway, so today I have two stories for you. And the first one is based off fact. So, I actually wrote it down just to make sure that I don't mess up and say something. And then those keyboard warriors get all up in my ass. So yeah, I'm going to read this for you. And then you'll see what I mean. This is a Bible verse, like a literal Bible verse, okay? Ecclesiastics, I hope I said that right. Ecclesiastics, Ecclesiastics chapter 4, verse 9. And it reads, Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift his fellow up. But woe to him who is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. You're seeing where this is going, right? You can see it, right? Let, let, let's finish. Let's finish. Again, if the two lie together, then they shall have heat. I know, right? But how can one be warm alone? How? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand Two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. And I don't know about you, but this guy sounded like he was trying to angle for a three-way, right? <laughs> I know, man. And a threefold cord is not easily broken. If that's not a three-way pickup line, I do not know what is. <laughs> okay, um, so for story number two, all of my stuff today is, by the way, based on the Bible. Yeah, I had a little spiritual moment throughout the week. My second story is about King Solomon. We all know King Solomon, and King Solomon has a reputation. So according to the parables or to the stories, I don't know what you want to call them, King Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. For those who do not know math, that is 1,000 women. But if you're to read a bit more, you find out, or depending on what scripture you read, you find out that he or they only say that this nigga only had three kids. I don't remember their names, but I know one of them starts with the T, I think, Tatana or something like that. But that's besides the point. So, with 1,000 women, you only had three kids? For real? Three kids? I just don't buy that. I find that very hard to believe. 1,000 women. Three kids. So... Through my deductive reasoning, I found 
one of two things. Either King Solomon was the king of the pullout game. <laughs> or number two. <laughs> king Solomon was the king of deadbeat dads. <laughs> like I said, this is just jokes. Uh, this is just stories that I find funny, okay? So, for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. Please subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking on the little red button underneath this video. And make sure you tap on that little bell icon so that you're notified each time I put up a new video. For those of you who have already been here, you know the story. You know what you're in for. But it's only going to get better moving forward. So once again, my name is Ricky Nelson and this is The Vent.